Hello, in this video we are going to practice describing personality and physical appearance. We are going to focus on describing people, right? The objective that we have for this lesson is to use adjectives to describe someone's personality and physical appearance, right? To describe the physical appearance of a person, we have adjectives in general that we can use to refer to the person but in a very broad sense, in a very general sense. And for that I have some examples of words that we can talk about what a person looks like. Okay, We could give some opinion and say that the person is beautiful, is pretty or it's attractive. I like the word attractive because we are just trying to sound more objective and not, in, not getting emotionally involved right we could say that someone is elegant or funny yeah funny looking sometimes uh, cute or handsome which is more formal and especially used for men but these are some uh, general words that we can use to describe a person's um, physical appearance and that is mostly based on our opinion but we can also describe their physical appearance by using some adjectives that may refer to the person's age. For example, when we say young, old, or middle-aged, yes, or we can talk about their size or their build, and we could say, for example, that a person is thin, that a person is big, or that a person is well-built, for example, that they are muscular, etc. If we refer to, our, to their face, we could say that the person has a round face, oval face, square face, uh, about their eyes, we can talk about their color and we can say that the person has brown eyes, big eyes, round eyes, or that, we could, that the person wears glasses. I wanted to include that because it is not an adjective, but it's something that we use to refer to a person's eyes. We could say the person wears glasses because that would help us uh, have a better idea about the person's physical appearance. To describe a person's nose, we could say that the person has a straight nose, a hooked nose, a long nose, a turned up nose, etc. All right? To talk about the person's ears or mouth, we could just refer to the size, that's what I would say, large ears or large mouth, uh, small uh, ears, small mouth. For the lips, we could say the person has a full pair of lips or full lips, curved or thin, for example, all right? Now, to talk about a pers the personality of a person, we could have a lot of words. These are just some examples and I would like for you just to practice the pronunciation of these words and make sure that you understand them all. If you have to look them up in the dictionary, please go ahead. We could say friendly, generous, sociable, talkative, extrovert, or we could say extroverted as well, quiet, shy, serious, clever, lazy, calm, that L is not pronounced, calm, confident, ambitious, adventurous, cautious, caring, selfish, right? Selfish when a person doesn't want to share what they have, um, that is one word that we could use, all right? And I have some simple practice activities for you. For the first one, you have to think about the word, but I have some image that is going to help you. Let me explain what this is about. Mateo and Tomas are very different, with almost opposite characteristics. Find the adjectives that complete the following sentences that describe them using the opposite of the characteristics provided. If they say that one person is one way, the other person is going to be almost the opposite um, characteristic. All right? We'll have an opposite characteristic. Then complete the crossword puzzle. So I have this blank crossword puzzle for you, and that is actually going to help you uh, find the words that I was thinking about when I um, wrote this exercise for you. So some, synony some antonyms 
the opposite words are going are going to be very obvious but for some others probably the crossword puzzle is going to help you uh, find the correct word so look at the sentences think about the opposite of the word that is mentioned or already before the blank and with that you're going to complete the, um, the crossword puzzle all right pause my video complete the activity and i will show you the answers in a moment All right, I hope that you completed the activity. Actually, most of them were very simple, but we could say, Mateo is very shy, but Tomas is very sociable. Sociable is the answer there. Mateo, Mateo is serious, but Tomas is, hmm, that's the opposite of serious. He was extroverted. That's the one that uh, I had there for you. You could say extrovert, or extroverted and extrovert sometimes is used as a noun so I wanted to use that adjective form here Tomas is adventurous but Mateo is very cautious all right Tomas is talkative but Mateo is quiet yes Mateo is generous that was a little tricky but Tomas is selfish some people may say stingy, for example. Stingy is a word that we could use as an opposite of generous, but um, it doesn't fit in the crossword puzzle. So that is the one that we were looking for. All right. So I hope that you have them all correct or that you made the changes uh, after I showed you the answers. All right. Now, this is the main activity for this lesson. It says, describe the lady in the picture below. So lady what would you say about that lady use at least three adjectives to describe her physical appearance and three adjectives to describe her personality you don't know what her personality is actually but just analyzing the picture you might see what she uh, is like in terms of her personality because you can obviously see her physical appearance all right Think about the picture, think about the lady, what is she like, and write a, a short paragraph describing her, all right? Using three adjectives, three adverbs. I'm, I'm sorry, three adjectives for her physical appearance and three adjectives for her personality, I'm sorry, all right? So think about it for a moment, pause my video, complete the activity, and I'll show you some sample answer in a moment. Go ahead. All right, thank you. Thank you for having done that, especially because I know it takes some effort to pause the video, write your own description, and then check your answer. So here is a sample answer that a girl wrote. She said, yesterday, my older brother and I went to the park. That's an introduction. There, we met a very nice lady. Okay, nice. Her name was Teresa. She had long hair and brown eyes. She was short and walked fast. All right. She was very nice and friendly. T Teresa had a beautiful dog. We asked her to let us play with her dog and she said yes. I played with the dog and my mother and my brother talked with her. We had a great time. After about an hour, we thanked her and said goodbye. Teresa waved goodbye and left the park as well. I like this paragraph because it tells a story around the description of this person and used adjectives to describe her physical appearance, being short, um, being nice, would refer to her personality, friendly, etc. So, of course, your description may be different, but this is an example that I hope serves you as a some reference point all right now i am going to pause my video so that you can practice your pronunciation listen and practice please yesterday my brother and i went to the park there we met a very nice lady her name was teresa she had long hair and brown eyes she was short and walked fast she was very nice and friendly teresa had a beautiful dog we asked her to let us play with her dog and she said yes I played with the dog and my brother talked with her. We had a great time. After about an hour, we thanked her and said goodbye. Teresa waved goodbye and left the park as well. 
All right. Thank you. Thank you for practicing your pronunciation. Remember that in this lesson, we focused on adjectives that help us describe a person's physical appearance and some to describe their personality. All right. Thank you. Thank you very much for having completed the activity. And I'll see you in the next one.